Welcome everyone to the 19th annual Sheboygan JC Holiday Parade. This year's theme is Festival of Lights. We got a big lineup tonight, 38 or so entries. It's in perfect weather once again, about 38 degrees. The streets of Sheboygan are packed. There's got to be at least, what, 35, 40,000 down here, Steve? At least 45, John. Yeah, we are here, ready to go. I can hear the bands in the background, the enthusiasm. I, I, just, I just can't wait for this parade. Well, here we go, guys. The 19th Annual Sheboygan JC Holiday Parade, starting out with Sheboygan's Finest, the Sheboygan Police Department. Followed by the Color Guard of the American Legion, Post 83. Next entry on here, we have the City of Sheboygan Fire Department. Why, Steve, every year, I just can't get over how shiny these fire trucks are. Well, they keep them washed. I would, too, have had a nice red truck like that. Yeah, it looks great again. And the lights on there, it's just another nice, fine job by the police, by the fire department. So we got a little break in the action here, Steve. Why don't you tell us a little about about the uh, Sheboygan JCs? So I, I heard a rumor that uh, you might even be the incoming president for next year. Yeah, I'm not officially sworn in, but I uh, am the president-elect for 2012 for the Sheboygan JCs. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a great year. I know it will be, Steve. Up next here, Trinity Lutheran School, making known the love of Christ at Christmas and always. Couple of girls here dressed all up. Yep, nice job here. Little known fact here, Steve, uh, my, both my kids went to this school. Did they, John? They sure did. Oh, excellent. Little angels here singing, I love it. I bet yours were cuter. You're probably right, I gotta say that. So Steve, back to the Sheboygan JCs here. Can anyone be a Sheboygan JC? Uh, not particularly. We uh, require that you be at least 20 years old and no older than 40. Uh, we do this because we are a leadership uh, organization and that helps us bring out young leaders and uh, they can build their skills in leadership and throughout the year and their time between 21 and 40 years old. Is there anything, is this all the Sheboygan JCs doing this year? Is just this holiday parade or? Absolutely not, John. We have something every month. Uh, we have small things, big things. Uh, uh, nothing's too small, but uh, probably our most well-known events are the uh, Lunch with Easter Bunny, the uh, oh, whip, break here for... Uh, oh, no problem, we'll break in here. And just passing us by here, the Sheboygan Common Council. I can't see Mayor Ryan yet, but I'm gonna see if I can get him over here to have a couple words. You see him yet, Steve? He must be somewhere in the crowd here. I don't know. He must be uh, wandering around shaking hands. Uh, is that him up there? Perhaps, maybe. Uh, it's either him or Santa, I, it, I'm not sure. Nope, I think that is the mayor. I will flag him down, we'll see if we can get a couple words. Uh, also here, John, we have the Sheboygan North High School Band. Yeah. All right, Well, I, I, I tracked him down. Here he is. Well, quite the workout here, uh, handing out candy on, uh, at the holiday Christmas parade, and this is fun. Breaking a sweat. Got to go. Uh, no problem. Keep going. Spreading good cheer. So back to the Sheboygan North Dance Team and High School Band. Oh, the bands. I just love the bands, Steve. Were you ever in the band? I'm not that coordinated. Not me either. Well, those, I'll just put the mic up and just listen along. Did 
do know that, uh, like, it's too cold, the bands can't play. I never knew that, John. It's something with the uh, instruments sticking to their lips. I think there's a movie about that, but I think it's a poll. And here we have Fox World Travel. A couple of kayaks, I believe. <laughs> and following them, the Sheboygan Dog Training Club. Oh, look at these dogs here. They gotta be cold themselves. A little fast, some lights. I think they've been training for this. Yeah, it's not easy to walk down these streets all in one shot. Okay. <laughs> we are uh, Dick Brentmeyer Ford is our next entry here. Ready to plow our driveways here. Well, this float is quite impressive here. I love all these lights on here. They did a nice job. Following Dick Brownmeyer, we have Sheboygan Shooting Stars. Sheboygan Shooting Stars is a brand new 4-H club right here in the city of Sheboygan. They have lots of fun projects and activities as well as community service opportunities. It's never too late to join them. Merry Christmas. Yes, they look like a friendly group. Following them, we have... Uh, what appears to be St. Dominic's Catholic School. They've got quite a tall chimney here with Santa on top. Quite impressive. And right behind them we have uh, Sheboygan Boys and Girls Club of Sheboygan. All right, following them. Well, I'm not really sure. This could be just be the music from St. Dominic's. Or maybe it's someone that snuck on the route, Steve. I don't have them on our list. <laughs> I don't know, John. <laughs> All right, we'll break here. Oh, I think that was Basada Christian Broadcasting. Oh, there we go, Steve. I think you're right. It was caught between our two pages here. All right, sorry about that, guys. We'll give you a little overview. Uh, they're playing Christmas music beginning on Thanksgiving to remind us of the true meaning of Christmas, Jesus Christ. They're on stations 90.5 or 98.9 in the Sheboygan area. Sorry about that, guys. Our pages stuck together. We got you now, though. Looks like we have a slow-moving limousine coming our way. Well, a slow-moving limousine is better than a broken-down limousine, Steve. <laughs> it's a Stargazer limousine service. Stargazer limousine offers a fleet of limos, limo bus buses, and coach buses, as well as minivans for all your transportation needs. Steve, any want to take a guess how long this limousine is? It stretches from here to there, John. That's exactly right. 35 feet long. Following that up, it uh, looks like we have the uh, Sheboygan Theater Company. You ever been to one of the plays there at the theater? Oh, I have, but it's been a while. Um, I can't even remember what it was, but it was good. Yeah, they do great work. My wife and I uh, at least catch a play or so every year, and it's uh, good entertainment. It's a welcome addition to the, to the community. Absolutely, John. Usually they let us know what's coming up here soon. I'm sure we'll see that somewhere here on this float.
All right, coming up a little bit down the way here, the Girl Scouts of Manitowa. People around the world regard the holiday season as a time to give thanks. We share that sentiment at the Girl Scouts of Manitowoc Council and want to give thanks to all our members for the many things they do each and every day to make to make this organization for the girls. This year, the Girl Scouts in the Sheboygan area will be participating in the annual holiday parade, which is what we're seeing right now. And during the parade, the Girl Scouts will be pushing shopping carts in their quest to collect paper products, cleaning supplies, and personal care items. Those items will be given to the Bridgeway House in the Sheboygan area food bank. What a great cause. Absolutely, and starting at such a young age. And it's good to see that these shopping carts are full. Looks like my wife's festival cart. <laughs> or her Walmart cart, or her Piggly Wiggly cart. Any cart, basically, she fills up. Yeah, I know, she, uh, she likes to visit all the stores. Wow, quite a contingency of them here. I think they're a couple of blocks long here. There's a lot of Girl Scouts here. I wonder if any of them have any cookies. I love those cookies, Steve. Oh, they never would have made it this long. I suppose that's right. They, they probably lasted the first block. Wow, and they just keep coming. Steve, do you know how old the Girl Scouts are? Uh, looks like about eight, ten years old. Oh, do you know how old the organization is? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you, they will be a hundred years old next year. Oh, wow. That's pretty old. I think the JCs haven't beat though. Yeah, I think so too. Should I put you on the spot and ask you how old they are? <laughs> I, I don't know exactly. That's what I thought. I won't even ask you, Steve. And this looks like the end. Oh, right here it is, Girl Scouts, 100 years. Huh. If you had waited a little longer, Steve, you would have got the answer right there in the truck. I'm never that lucky. And coming up, looks like we have the Madison All-Stars 4-H Club. Madison All-Stars 4-H Club is one of the oldest clubs in Sheboygan County. We do a lot of community service projects and promote 4-H for young people. And on the float, we have the elves getting ready Getting Rudolph ready for Santa's big trip. All right, right behind them we have the VW Club of Sheboygan. The VW Club of Sheboygan represents Volkswagens dressed up and decorated for the holidays. Uh, it looks like only one Volkswagen this year. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, they, oh, I know there's more Volkswagen, Volkswagen owners out there. Come on out, guys, and support your club. Although this one is done quite well. They did a nice job again. 